So I was sent a question the other day from Tom and wanted to take a moment to get it answered here. And the crux of the issue is that we're trying to connect a line between two processes, something like what you see here. And the issue here is that it was done a while ago from people who no longer work here. So it's a very common scenario. You might get a Visio diagram from someone else in your organization. You may not know what they've done, but if you understand Visio, then you can kind of lift the covers, see what's going on and figure out how that person accomplished that result. So I'll go over to Visio here and just relatively quickly create a flow chart and just grab a couple of things, process, sub-process, sub-process. So it's just a couple of shapes that we have on our canvas here. And then once they're selected, I'll go ahead and space them, uh, distribute them vertically is what I wanna do, and we'll align them left. So we clean them up a little bit. And with them still selected, I'll go ahead and duplicate them and then drag them over here. So reposition a little bit so we, kind of replicate what's going on in the previous diagram. So the issue is we want to connect this shape to this shape, as you can see. Really only thing we need to worry about here is in the tools collection in the home tab of the ribbon, I'll click on connector. And now with the connector selected, I will connect this connection point with that connection point over there. So I'll click there, I'll drag, and I'll let go of the mouse when and glue this to that connection point on that shape. Now. You see the connector there, it is selected, and I can take these midpoints here and reshape how the connector behaves. So I can kind of scooch it to the top of the diagram as you see right here. Now as I select my pointer tool again, anytime I now select this group of shapes and move them around, then the connector, because it's glued to that connection point, the connector will adjust automatically as well. So if I have another set of shapes, and they are here, and there's something you know in the way. We'll just uh, go ahead and position those there, position that over there. Now you can see that the connector is up out of the way of this set of shapes, similar to what was sent. So we've got this connector that is taking this big right turn going way up the page and then taking another right-hand turn. So very similar to what we have got here. We could bring this down if we need to. We need to make some more space for lots of shapes in here. We could also select the connector and we can bring it to the front. So it's always on top of these shapes. I'll make this a little bit more visible by changing maybe the color and the weight. So I'll change the weight to three points, change the color to orange, and I'll have to go back and reweight that connector. So really that's all there is to it. Now in this case there may be a second connector that is actually doing the connection between that shape and that shape. I'd have to look at the exact file to figure out exactly what's going on. But whether it's one connector or two that we're looking at here in this diagram, still the principles are going to be exactly the same. For more about this specific topic, go ahead and check out these two lessons right here. The lesson entitled Connect Shapes and the lesson entitled Dynamic versus Static connectors in Visio. If you have other questions, don't hesitate to ask. We are here to help. You can always post a question to the class forum, or you can reach us directly at support at likeabosslearning.com.